Okay, we're doing a Shemeshinya Ches, Sif Gimel, Shashir 20. The fire is 20, 21, and maybe it gets to 22. Okay, says the Mechaber Sif Gimel. Kishem Shashir Levashel Boor, Kach Asher Levashel Botay Dushor. Same way you're not allowed to cook in fire, it's also to cook something in the fire. Same way, it's also to cook something in a told us or it's something that got hot through fire. Fire made something hot. Now you want to cook it, that thing. Yeah. It's the same thing, the same iser. You're going to lit in beya b'tzad kadeira to put an egg in the side of a kadeira, which is hot. Or the shabra al sude shahucham ba'ur. Or to break an egg, and to make a scrambled egg on a, on a sude shahucham ba'ur. Kadeisha titzla that you get fried. So the Mechaber doesn't say over here that it's an Issa Deiraisa, but if you look in if you look in the in the Morgan of Rom, Sif Cotton Tess, she also the Vashel, Hamavashel, the Toldis or Chayiv. Now the Chal you should know is the Mechaber Shulchan Aruch doesn't get involved in something. There's three targets: something that's mutter, so it's an Issa Derabanan, which is called Potter. It's always potter aval oser, and something that's chay, which is the chiv de raisa. The mechaber never gets involved in whether it's chay de raisa or whether it's potter aval oser. Because the mechaber is saying what you're allowed to do, what you're not allowed to do. The Rambam says chay or potter, and the Rambam is medayik when he says chay, when he says potter, because chay is a chiv de raisa, and potter is midrabanan, and mutter, right? And mutter. And there's a mutter. So, but the mechaber. Even though he says Osir, which usually means Potter Aval Osir, Rav Dafka, it means it's a Dirabana. So the Mongol Ram puts in over here that you should know when it says Osir Levashal Batal Dasa Ur, it means I'm a Vashal Batal Dasa Ur, Echayev. Echayev because it's an Issa Dei Raisa. So fire and Tal Dasa Ur is both a Chayev Dei Raisa. The Filu, the Tal Dasa Chamo. Even at the Tal Dasa Chamo, even something they're going to have through the song, Kigayim besude shahuchem bechama, a sude that got heated up through the sun. Also gzera atu told us or. So even told us a chama is also a gzera atu told us or. Let me talk. Chama we'll see in a second. Cooking in the sun itself is mutter. Cooking something in the sun itself is mutter. Told us a chama is also a gzera atu told us or. It's also to put something, to, to be matzman something in, in sand or over drachim. They get heated because of the sun. So we'll see in a second what the Chiddush over here is. Here we went, in, went into not Bishul, we went into Atmona. Now remember from Atmon, Atmon, let this make a difference uh, how Shabbos. the thing is had. No, no. Erev Shabbos, yeah. We see the same with Erev Shabbos or Arn Shabbos. Yeah. Atmona, we know, it doesn't make a difference how the thing got hot. You know, there'll be Matmim and Dover and Moise of Heaven. But Atmona, there's no chilik of Chama or, or it doesn't make a difference. So we have to see why the Mechamah speaks out of it. The Hatim, the Chayla, the Abed Rachim, the Shokimu, the Kayah Chama is also awesome. Abu Bechama, Atma, the Litten, Beya, Bechama, a little may be chama kadesha yuchamu mutter. In the sun itself, it's mutter to put water to heat up or an egg to get hot. As long as it's getting hot from the sun itself. But once it's getting hot from a tallest chama, let's say the hood of a car, let's say which gets very hot, and you want to fry an egg in the hood of a car, that's very tall as chama. That's very awesome. But in the sun itself, it's mutter to cook something. So how practically does that work out? Because, uh, you know, the, the egg, was it floating in the air? I mean, like if, if it's sitting on sun... No, but it's not, because let's say it's in the sun, it's not yeah. getting hot from the sun. No, no, grass. But if grass, let's say, yeah. Oh, grass. It doesn't get hot from the sun itself. It doesn't when, get hot. When, you, when you talk about the hood of the car, so the issue of, of applying the xera, um from uh, Chama to H, right? So right. with the hood of a car, you can never... You can never heat it up from H. Can't. So, 
if your engine's on, who the car gets very hot, no, right? No, talking about the parking lot, Sydney from the desert, no, the parking lot. Right? It doesn't matter. It's very hot, the engine, the car. The engine is on. It's, 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 it's possible to get hot from the fire. No, it's about the office. You don't need to do it. It's the parking lot, it's very hot. From the sun, that's why he's comparing it to the engine. Okay. You can find something like a car, where it couldn't be covered. Okay, so we'll see in a second if there's, if there's any chalukim. The one in is not a chaluk, we'll see in a second. But basically what the Mechavah says is, is that anything that's in the fire itself, a told us over is Osir, made a raisa, told us Cham was exer de Rabbanon, and Cham itself is Mutin. Now, before we get into the Morgan of Ram here, what the Mechavah says over here, Lahat Mila Bechoyel, of Avak Drochem, Shehokim Mumikoyach HaChama is Osir, that's called Atmona. So, from the Mechaber is Mashma, it's also even Erev Shabbos. Even Erev Shabbos is also to be Matman the Choyl because it's Dover Hamoitz of Hevel. So, Kibega brings down a Rajbuk. Look at the Kibega over here. It's uh, on the Morgan of Rom, Sif Cotton Yud. Right? Because the Morgan of Rom speaks out, Atmira Bechoyl. The first words of the Morgan of Rom, Sif Cotton Yud, is Afilim and Boid Yoyim. Why I feel the way you are? This is a dover on my sif hevel. It says that the Rebbe Kiva in on the Magen Avram, Avol Rajba bechedush of chasav lahatu lahatu mechayol beboid yoyim lehachem bechama. That should say de hachem. Okay. The chalsh of hucham beeir shabbos menachama mitstane in the gamri b'leil shabbos. Anything that heated up through the through the sun. So by the Shabbos it's already cold. So the whole issue to Matim and Dover and Moitz of Hevel, the Erev Shabbos, is because on Shabbos it's still going to be Moitz of Hevel. But anything that will be Matim and Erev Shabbos and the Moitz of Hevel, and on Shabbos, it's not going to be a Moitz of Hevel, says the Kivega from the Rajma that it's Mutter. <laughs> and the Meshmur brings it down and see if you test also. Fine, so that, that's the. Even to roll it on the choil, which is hot, because of the sun, it's oser, can cause of a rush. And the reason why it's oser is because now it's already a toldus chama. It's not the chama itself, it's only a toldus chama. And a toldus chama is also gzeira. Why the Torah leaves out this halach of Gilgal, Gil, of uh, even the Galgalai is also. The Torah doesn't speak it out. He only speaks out that Mina Bechal of Avag Drachem. The Galgalai should also be also. Because it's told this Chamo. Yeah, but how do you learn the zero from told this Chamo to told this Aur? You may, you don't know how this thing got, got heated. You may have got heated through heat. The or. The one thing I know from Tolus or to or, why would why why should I go from? No, Tolus or to or. No, Tolus or to or is not a zero. Tolus or is is a derisive. Right, but I'm saying is, but how would I learn Tolus or Chama, which is a completely different source of heat? I mean, because it's not it's not like I'm doing something. Right, because we don't know where the heat came from. Anything that's hot, we don't see the Chama. We made a zero out of Tolus or. Okay. You see somebody warming something up and something that's hot, not from the sun. I mean, we, we don't know where, it's, where it got heated from. Even though it's from the sun, we don't know where it got heated from. And therefore, it could be also not to tell this or. And if we do know, like we're in the middle of the desert. Let's make a difference. The main example. Right. The main example. It wouldn't make a difference. Right. So if we look in the Mongol of Rome here, the Kamala, Lama Yishmita toured the Kamala, the Lacha Karaba. And this, I mean, I'm not going to throw a sogi over here. It's a machlex in the Gemara. I might do a, a quick. You know, the summary of the Gemara. The Mechlechs of the Gemara have told us a Chama is Asr or not. Now, if, if, the, the um, Rab, not Rab, um, the Rabbanon hold told us a Chama is Asr or to told us Or. Rabbi Yaisi holds, there's no Gzei who told us Chama or to told us Or. But the Asr is still if you Matmin Bechoyl. Because of Atmona. Atmona. And Gilgalai Dechoyl is already Mechlechs of Rabbi Rabbi Yaisi, what Rabbi Yaisi have held. Rab and Rabbi Yosef, what Rabbi Yosef held. So we literally, the Rosh Kosva Liber did Rabbi Yosef, Ayin Shom, Avalan Kamal Kerabonon, 
ואם כן פשיטה דעשה דגזרין על אותו תל דה סעור. חן כל סברן עין שם. So the Margaret Rav says, I'm not sure why they leave it out. We pass in. We do make a gazer tell us or to tell us a chama, tell us a chama to tell us or. Therefore, we hold everything is also even Gilgal and Agave Charo. When we come up and cast the shab of Shuba, the mutter literally says God was sheach the chama to let Michlas be told us or Ayin Shom. The Marshal gives a kula and he says a rooftop. Which, can, which cannot get hot through fire. So people aren't going to get mixed up that it got hot through fire. Therefore, it's not to a gag, a rooftop, because there's no gzeir or other tal dasa or. How about a car roof? So, so, so according to the Rishal, it would come out anything that cannot be heated through fire automatically is mutter. Because we know for sure it got heated through the sun. Car roof? No. That's what the Rishal would hold. So you're right, the roof of a car. Which can't be heated through fire, it will be much according to the mashal. We don't pass on like the mashal. The hood of the car, which could be heated through fire, <coughs> right? If you put it on your motor, the, the, the roof, the, the hood of the car gets very hot. That will be also. But anyway, we don't pass on that way. But the word of Einu Mechrochim, the Gemara Evan Chaylik Allah Berishami Isa the Hedid the Also. So we don't pass on like the mashal. We hold any told us told us chama anything that get hot from the sun. Even though this thing is not possible to get hot from the fire, it's still also. The Kosov Rambam, Hamavasha Bechamet Feria, Potter, Tavatol Das Chama. Someone who cooks something in the Chamet Feria, in the hot waters of Feria, it's called Tol Das Chama. Now the question is, where is the Chamet Feria getting its heat from? Where's the heat source of Chamet Feria? From the bottom. Yeah, but what? From the other guys. But, but what? But where is it coming from? How's it getting hot? How's it getting hot? It's from the lava. What? Huh? It's from the, um, how do you say, lava. So that's, yeah. that's, from the hell. That's ash. From the hell. But it's not done by people. It's, uh, it's actually. Like so who says yeah. different? Yeah. So it's like hum. Who says that's different? <laughs> now the truth is, before we get to Chama Tzvaya, we'll take a break here a second. It's a bit like Chloikas, and I think the sheets go through it. It's a bit like, what's the reason why Chama is mutter? Why is Chama, why is it mutter to cook in the sun? So the question is, so the question is what the reason is. Is the reason because that's not the way it's cooked in the Mishkan? Right. So if that's the case, so anything that's not cooked in the sun, in, by fire, for example, Chama Tveria, which is not the way it's cooked in the Mishkan, or microwaves, microwaves today that didn't have in the Mishkan, that didn't cook with microwaves, it should be mutter to cook. The right thing. Not just not just Osir, not just part of the It should be mutter to cook. Told this Chama is Osir, it's it's but Chama it's itself, it's yeah, it's exaggerated. But Chama itself is mutter. So any other bishul that we have, besides besides bishul of Ur, should be mutter. So electricity, they say, is considered fire. Anything that gets hot through electricity, even though it's not a fire marriage, they consider it a fire because making metal hot is like a fire. But the question is, a microwave which is not fire, it's not the ur, so maybe it's mutter. No. So if you hold the reason why I told us chama is, why chama is mutter, is because that's not what happened in the Mishkan, so microwave is a mutter. But if you hold that, that the reason why chama is mutter is not derech lavash lavikach, you don't cook in the sun, so then a microwave which today is derech lavash lavikach, then a memeh chama is also. That's the machlaikis. I mean, you, you, you won't find the head today anyway to cook in a microwave in Chavez, but, but uh, that's what stopped them the hako. So, so the same question is, is Chama Mitzvahya? Because of the Rambam, I'm a part of the Havok who told us Chama. You know why? Because it's like told us Chama. What does it mean it's like told us Chama? Does it get heated from the sun? No. Does it get heated from the sun? From the Rambam is mashma that it's like told us Chama, and therefore it's mutter. So truth is done two ways. Either it's like told the schama because it's not like the ish, or it's like told the schama because it's not darkoy the vashel the kach. No one cooks in chametzvah, so therefore it'll be mutter. And now the interesting thing is, um, no, I'm sorry, but, but what's that? But the uh, is definitely a tolder. 
it's not uh, it's not the chama itself. It's not the original source. It'll definitely be osir. Told us chama is definitely potter of a It says potter, but it's definitely osir because it's told us chama. If you'll be told this, or it'll be chayiv. All he's saying here is the Rambam says that chametz feyu is potter of a because it's told us chama. So we told this or it'll be chayiv, but it's definitely osir chametz feyu because it's not the original source. It's only a told them. Chen begemar mechem asher b'mishnah for testing the garments and hedron and minon to the shtayim me'a mabel, was left over hot water from the mabel and stays hot, and therefore it's osir. After the mechamok mechamol they told us chama, even though it was left over from the mabel, and it's the mabel was heated through fire, still has a day to told us chama. Because of Iran, the osir lahamid ma'achal gabe chamid feya, avom erev shavis mutid, erev shavis is mutid to put it in. On top of it, why is Aniach Metoichai Osir? Because it's not going to waste of Hevel. Now, what it means here is the put out Gabov is Mutter, meaning there's no problem of Shahir. On top of his mutter. Betoicha, he says, is Osir. Osir, yeah. Well, Aniach Betoicha, Osir, why? Because that's a very atmana. That's a very atmana. Al Gabov, it's mutter. Why is it mutter al Gabov? Why is it mutter al Gabi Chamit Feria? You don't know what's mutter? Because it's not Shayach, no, al Gabov. Oh, it's not, it's not, it's not Gorov and Kotum. So why is it mutter al Gabi Chamit Feria? Because it's not Shayach Shem Yechata. If you put something in Hamid Feria, it's not Shaykh Shem Yechata. So then if you allow to put it on top of it, into it, you're not allowed to put, because that's already being mathematical, the Davana Mice of Hevel. But on top of it, you mutter. It's mutter. So if you look at Mkhi Vega here, very interesting Mkhi Vega. It starts off, Shamba Emta, the Vaisa Dibur, on my Erev Shabbos mutter. Look at the end of it. The near the Fiani is ninety. See? Sorry, which key are It's the it's the third one in the Mogan of Rome. Well, so is the issue from Arab Shabbos you're allowed to leave it on top of Chamit Feria? Right. In Chamit. No, on top you're allowed to. In you're not allowed to. On top you're allowed to because it's here. Right. In you're not allowed to because it's Matim and Davar Amos of Hevel. Right. So why are I leave it on top? On top of that, I leave it because there's no gzei Hashem Yechata. There's no gzei Hashem Yechata. So if you look in the Rukhi Vega, it's, it's, a, it's right before the one, Moga of Rav Siv Kar Yud Aleph, the line right before that. But near the Fiyani is that it, yes, Lodim, the Gam al Toldis Ur Mutter, like Gora Makira Grufa, Kivin Le Shaykh Pai Hashem Yechata. Since it's not Shaykh Hashem Yechata, it's Mutter. So you have here, uh, a kula that anything that's not shy of Shem Yechata, even though it's not Gorov and Kotam, it's Mutter. We spoke about it in the uh, Elevation of Gimel. Something that's not shy of Chitri on it, for example, the Platus. The Platus. That, um, that uh, some people say it's Mutter to put on it the Chatchila without, not to put on it the Chatchila on Shabbos, because it has a din of Gorov and Kotam. Why? Because no gzei yishem yichata, it's not possible to change the heat. So no gzei yishem yichata. That cooler comes from over here. The chamet feria, you know, I put something on top of chamet feria because it's not shy yishem or yichata. The only problem with the platus is, is that chamet feria has another cooler. That it's not mokka and bishul. It's not a place where you cook. The platus could be a place where it's possible to cook. It's Mokam Bishulai. But when Amkiv Eger says that Toldus Ur is also Mutter, something that's heated from the fire, it's Mutter, there's no Shem Yechata. So it come out, anything that got hot through fire, even though it's, it's a Toldus Ur, it's Mutter Shahiyah because it's not Shaykh Shem Yechata. It's not Shaykh Shem Yechata. He's not. Right. He's not been Mechal. So if you look at Kiv Eger, it's B'mashmo, Plata is a Mutter. Now any Plata is told us Ur, and it should be Mutter. 
That's what you're coming out. And we came out of the shit of stuff sauces or whatever. Did we talk about that you were allowed to leave it on top of the pot that was on the fire? Top of the pot. No, he's talking about directly. I'm sorry, directly on the on the pot. And what's the reason again you're saying that it's permitted? Yeah, what? What's the reason that you're saying it's permitted? Because no shemi yachata. You don't look shasha going to stir the coals. So he made a statement that told us the ur also was mutter in a place where it's not shayak shemi yachata. That's what Kibbeg is Kiddush. A half plate is a told over or that's the ur? Oh, oh, so the question is what a Kibbeg means. The question is what a Kibbeg means. The Kibbeg is Pasha is talking about. He took something. He heated it up out of fire, and now he took it away from the fire. But if you have the fire there constantly, even though now it's, uh, it's heating up a metal, the question is, can you call the metal of the plata told us the or? Well, that is the oratma. Can you call the plata that it's, oh, that it's told us the or? It could be it's not. It could be the plata is the fire itself. Because the fire is there under it, you may have a little metal sheet on top of the fire. But it's the fire is still there. But it's garbage. Okay. So, but, so what? So the question is that helps. The question that helps. It could be a place where usually cook, it doesn't help. Yeah. So what he's saying uh, is not the halakha. Right. No, Kibbeg says, told the right. is mutter, there's no shem right. But a kubi of Kibbeg only means when the fire is not there anymore. Oh, okay. It's heated up by the fire, the source is not there anymore. It's just staying hot because it got heated up by the fire. Right, but with the plata... With the plata, the source of the heat is still there. It's there the whole Shabbos. Yeah, it's there the whole Shabbos. Yeah. So I don't know if you can be arrived from there that every time there's no Shem Yechata, it's mutter. Right. But no one cooks on a hot plate. That's a question, you could. Depends on how it gets. It's not a normal thing to do. Slow cookers. If you put the chalant on, people put the chalant to air Shabbos that's not cooked, to leave it overnight and it cooks. Maybe not. Never hear the Sure. Okay. We're not going to get back into that question now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's figure that some people enjoy it. See some Kiva Ega, they'll, be, they'll <laughs> take away their conscience, maybe, if they leave it there on Shabbos. If you fill your bathtub yeah. on Arab Shabbos with boiling water, right. and then floated some food items on it, would it be the same thing? No, because I had the water get hot. That's told us all. Cooking the Taldus or is 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 a chiv the raisa. Oh, shemi chati mean. Because shemi chati mean. Because yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a chiv. That's a chiv. That's a chiv. That's not. If someone fills his bathtub with boiling hot water, and of Shabbos, and more hot water. That's the thing that you're talking about. Where is the animal? Yeah, it's possible. Yes, who says it's possible? So, finish that. If someone fill up his bathroom with boiling hot water, yeah, Arab Shabbos. Arab Shabbos. Yeah. He can leave your food on top of the water without. Not inside. Not inside. Inside, 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 inside it's already. It's already. Uh, it's not hot water. For sure. We, got, we have a cooler for that already. We have a heater for that. Hot water? It's gonna that bath water is gonna be cold on on Erev, on Friday night. Told us come. Yeah. The rabbi says told us come. You want to take a told us or also? But he says but he says that because it's gonna be it's gonna be cold. So, so you can, I don't think it's use a head if anything you want. He says something can heat it up to the sun, it cools down at night. Told us or doesn't say that. Hot water will cool like. Doesn't say it. It's only told us come. Told us or something that's hot from the fire gets much hotter than heated from the sun. But so it doesn't cool down. You cannot add from yourself. Yeah, you want to say that you want to say any, anything now that's going to cool down by Friday night, automatically it's mutter. It's not tomorrow. You're going to apply that. I don't think you do that. Told us how many said it's mutter. I said it's mutter. You have to know uh, hot water in the bathroom is boiling hot. It makes it hot for a couple of hours. I don't know. It's not moisty fuel. It's for sure not moisty fuel. It's but it's a dub. Why not? It's a moisty fuel. You put something into it. Where is moisty fuel? Moisty is getting hotter. Moisture pebble doesn't mean the thing itself is getting hotter. When you put something into it, it's moisture pebble on the thing that you put into it. That's moisture pebble. If you put a, a, this um, is a spoon, inside, hot. inside you can't put it. can transfer heat. Okay, let's, let's finish with the Morgan Avram. We're very comfortable with Rambam. I'm not sure we did it Morgan Avram. You did it last week? With the Rambam with the... Okay, Kosovo and Rambam. And the sheets was brought down earlier. Yeah. So it says the Magen Avraham, Kosov and Rambam, Peretes, Inniach Basar Gabi Gecholim, In Nitzla by Kegregoris, Chayiv, Afilu Bechatsi Bishuloi, Patas Arayvin, Even halfway cooked, 
It's already also according to the Rambam. The Rambam ain't a chayav bechatzi b'shuloi when it's pasul mikzasoi. So chatzi b'shuloi is halfway cooked. The Rambam holds halfway cooked is only also if the whole piece of meat was cooked halfway. If half of the piece of meat was cooked halfway, there's no iser bishul. Actually, it's pasul kol habasar chatzi bishul until you cook the whole meat chatzi bishul. Then you chayiv. But half of the meat, chatsi bishol, is not chayiv. So he's into the, so we've always talked here about not cooked at all, machol ben disari, and cooked completely. Right, he's talking about chatsi bishol. Which is what? Chatsi bishol, it could be means machol ben disari. Oh, so that's what I'm asking. Because machol is what machol ben disari is. So why is he he's introducing a new terminology? You have to have both, yeah. Chatsi bishol versus what we're talking Yeah, because so it, it could be, because it could be, that you have to, the chatsi bishol, you have to have both sides. Chatsi bishuloi, if it's if it's if it's the whole thing, it's also. The Rambam says chatsi bishuloi, even one side is already also. The Rambam says no. But as much as the Rambam, if he did bishuloi gamri on half, on one piece of meat, it's also. Is chatsi bishuloi, let's say, not only the outside and the inside, not is right. So it's right. It's two things. Chatsi bishuloi can mean beeches and bekamis. Chatsi bishuloi means. How much the, that piece of meat got cooked, and, and uh, I mean how uh, how in what way the, the level of cooking yeah, yeah. of cooking and the amount of cooked, <laughs> meaning how much of the piece of meat got cooked, yeah, yeah, yeah. half of it or the whole piece of meat, <laughs> or and then it get halfway cooked. But so if, if the whole piece of meat gets halfway cooked, it's also awesome. it's also awesome because if when half you complete the piece of meat, chop it, uh, put it back at you, it's a uh, chiyav. Uh, 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 yeah, it's a chiyav on that. And, and, it's the other and if it's half cooked, but half a piece of meat is fully cooked, it's also a problem. Right. If half of the piece of meat is halfway cooked, then it's not it's a like official. Not chayv chatos. That's what the Rambam says. Not chayv chatos. Yeah, also it is. Yeah, also it is. And the reason the machaber doesn't bring this in is because he doesn't distinguish between right. the one and the rice. Right. Right. Because the Rambam, to the machaber, it's not a It's also doing anyway in Shabbos. Right. So the Hebrew is saying if it's chayiv or if it's potter. Hamatach echad mimini matcha is someone who who melts any type of metal or mechamim matchas achinas gachelas. If you make a metal very hot, so it gets like red hot. V'chein ham amasmei sashayva, so it melts wax or yechele or fats, or yezefes or agofes, which is tar. By mevasher kli adama achiyasa kli cheres. If you if you cook a kli cheres adama, earthenware thing, till it becomes kli cheres, that means you strengthened it and it became hard. All these cases, as chayev klal, the most of the klal of bishul is bein she ripa guf kasher. Say if you softened a hard thing, or you made hard a soft thing, you soft thing <coughs> chayiv, you always chayiv al tfishel. But I am safe simmons there. Oh, we're going to get, I mean, we're going to get to it, but now you add uh, additional problems, because now you get into Neulad, you get into Makkabit Patish, I mean, these are all additional things. Yeah, there are other issues, yeah. If you take it clean and you, mark, and you finish it off, yeah, right. it's Makkabit Patish. Which is not to push it. We get to Machabah Patish. Finishing off a Malacha Lav Dafka is Machabah Patish. Hmm. Uh, if, if so, every single Malacha you do on Chavez, it should also be Mechaev because of Machabah Patish. Machabah Patish means the last no, hammer, the last no. thing you give. The last stroke. It's the last stroke. But the, the last stroke of any time you have something on Chavez. See, the, the last part of the bishop, Machabah Patish, you have with Machabah Patish, you build you build something in Shabbos. That's something else. Let's put that aside. Let's let's put it aside. Machabah Patish by Eichel. We'll get to that. But let's say you're building something on Shabbos. You build a house on Shabbos. Yeah. yeah. So then when you finish the last part of the house, you have with Machabah Patish also. We'll see. It's a bit more like this in the Rishonim. What Machabah Patish is? Because Machabah Patish is only after you finish building something and it's done, you add something to make it better. That's Machabah Patish. So if you're going ahead and you're finishing off a kli, and you're making it a kli cheres, a kli adam with a kli cheres, that could be, it's not makom That could be, it's only an exhibition. You went ahead and you cooked it, and you made it ready. So we get the makom patish. when it's fully cooked, then it's ready. Yeah, when it's, yeah. When it's fully moment. done, and you add something afterwards, then it could be makom patish. Because it's not that every single malachi you're doing in Shabbos, you also owe about makom patish. That's not that way. 
by pouring uh, hot water over uh, the over over food. Fi no, let, let's say fish, yeah, which food. salted fish. Is it a gemar meloch or is it a bishop? Oh, it's a bishop. Uh, you can uh, have do both. both ways. Yeah, yeah. See soon. See by by close aspen. Yeah. Okay, we'll get, we'll get to that soon. We'll start with Ian. The page is based on the Chameim Habazel, Kedel Tzarfoy, Chayim Shem Mavim. The stone warms up, makes the, makes the Baza very hot. Kedel Tzarfoy, to, uh, as a Tzarfoy in English, to, um, to, 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 to fix it up, to, to purify it, yeah. Chayim Shem Mavim, but I'm in Chosim Shem Mavashel. The rabbi says, "Because of mavashul, why you chayav at mavir? You should be chayav at mavashul." A magamishu yishu dvorav ayin sham lezocha shadim rambam says a dot of tzachim yesh tachal. So here's a kasha: the rambam, the rambam is mashma that if you go ahead and you heat up metal, the sarfoy you chayav because of mavir, which is making a fire. Why? And here the rambam says you chayav because of mavashul. The rabbi spoke about the rabbi. So by metal, no, the, ra the rabbi says should... Ravasha, but the rabbi says also that he cook up a hot, uh, beforehand. By the matach echo mini amatchus, I am a chame amatchus, I should not say the chalas, he chayim is a mavashal. That's the rabbam. And then he says later on, Wait a minute, but where does he have a piece of. The first, the first Ramba, Matach Echad Mini Matchis. Yeah. By Mechama Matchis, I should not say the chalas, I should not say the chalas, I should not say everything right. Chayab, he doesn't say Chayab, he should be shul. No, he's going bishul. He's going on bishul. He explained. He's going on bishul. The narrow law of the Ram says the chayav was bishul. Yeah, yeah. That that Ram was going with the chayav bishul, not the chayav mavim. Okay, so that is the, the art. How does the art? And they go through the whole shaila about the uh, about the dochemesh. The dochemesh is not or not. I think they give you enough information in the sheets. But the the dochemesh, which makes the water hot through the sun. So it should be mutter to use the hot water from a Dutch Shemesh on Shabbos. Right. So there's two issues. One issue is, is it getting heated from the sun directly? Right. Or is it getting heated through the metal pieces that get hot from the sun, they heat up the water? That's where he told us or? Right? That's told us or? <laughs> told us the Chama, I mean. That told us the Chama is also Xero, that's told us the or. And the second child is, we take water out of the Dud, we take hot water out of the wood, letting in cold water, which gets heated up by the water that's inside already, and that's definitely told us ha chama. That's definitely not the chama itself. But Those are the issues. If you had uh, a system like that where there was no yeah. water coming yeah. in, yeah. right? That would get heated. Yes, it is. Would, the, that, would that solve at least part of the problem? Yeah, yeah. If you if, if you have a dutchemesh that the water doesn't go into the tank, cold water doesn't, only hot water stays in the tank. The cold water goes directly to the panels. Then you would solve one issue. But you're taking out the hot water, the cold water is not going into it. And what's the issue of that it's a Tolkis Kama? You didn't do that. You didn't put in something with the Tolkis Kama. It happened by itself. No, when you take out, you put in... No, that oh, so the... Yeah, yeah, when you take out water, yeah, if it happened by itself, it's fine. Yeah, but, but, you take out, but when you're taking out water from this thing, you're letting in more water that's going into the... So then you solve both issues in this case, if you have a way that to stop no. water no. from going in. Yeah, the, the, the water doesn't go. No, there's two things. The water goes into the tank with hot water, and the water goes into the panels. Right. Okay. So, so if we stop the water going into the panels and into the doors, whatever's hot water they have left in the tank, then for sure it's mutter. So, in, in, practically speaking, in our homes, if you can turn off the valve of your water tank, for sure. Cold water. Yeah, yeah. People do all the time. Hundred percent. People do all the time. If you shut off your hot water, your hot water tank before Shabbos. You could use the hot water. You can't use it to wash yourself. Chitz is also a problem. That's a separate thing. A separate problem. But you want to wash this with hot water. If you shut off your hot water tank before Shabbos, you do it all the time. You shut off the hot water tank before Shabbos. So Friday night, you have hot water to wash the dishes. 100% water, no problem with that. If there's no liquid in the dishes. No what? There's no liquid in the dishes. What do you mean? Otherwise, it's... No, no. No, no. It's eerie. It's eerie because it's eerie. The mission is directly. No, no. Still the thing. Making life poorer. Have to know if it's actually that. It's by the water. 
Okay. Yeah. One of the floods of the tank is the outside of the spot. So, if it's not the outside of the spot, it's a problem. No, but it is, but it would be. It could be outside of the spot, but it gets the additions. The question of time it gets the additions is the outside of the spot. By taking, in the example you said, that by showing off the, 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 when the cold water goes in into the tank. No, who's the cold water going into the tank? If you shut off the tank, if you shut it, nothing, there's no water going in, nothing goes in. Whatever is there is what you had before shut off the tank full of hot water. The water tank, your hot water tank. If you shut off the valve, there's no cold water coming in. But if you, but once you, even if you shut it off, I mean, according to that, once a little bit of hot water comes out, the rest of it gets heated up even more. No, 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 it's no, off. No, 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 it's off. No, the tank is off. Oh, you, oh, you turn off the heat? Yeah, it's one of the tank. Ah. Tank is off. Oh, no, you said you, you just turned off the cold water coming. But there's two different things. There's one is turning off. Oh, you're water. right, you're right. One is turning off. Thing. Okay, so, so Sufi's you right. Yeah. If you shut off the heating system, then you won't heat up the water, so you have an issue with the cold water coming in, which now you have to know is a problem of That's also the same thing with the door. It could be to psychrate, to and it's, uh, it, you have to know if that's awesome. Yes, no, that's if that's outside at all, because you don't want that cold water coming into the tank. Yeah, but the, if the cold, cold water coming into the tank yeah, makes it worse for you. But if the cold water is not heat. Right. Right. So you have to know. But, yeah, but you have to know it's called situation. You have to know it's called situation. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit What? Okay. If you shut off the valve, it brings in the cold water, and you shut off the heating system element, then you're for sure okay. Yeah, you no the, the, kind of yeah the water will not have a lot of heat. You turn off the valve, the, the incoming water is not confused. I mean, though, is that? So, it's so not different. It's not different to your electric guys. If you shut off the cold water, you will not get any heat. Yeah, I think I think they would see if you shut off the cold water. I don't think it will go back on. No. What? When yeah. we shut off the valve in the cold water, I don't think it heats it up. It will not get, a, get in at all. That works. It doesn't make a difference. Anyway, it wouldn't make a difference. If you shut off, if you shut off the cold water, let's just say the heating element is on. So what's the issue? Right. So maybe it's, it's cooled down, no? Then it goes. Uh, no, no cold water's coming in. So you're taking hot water from the thing. Same as having inert. Same as inert. If you have less hot water there, it will heat it up even more. So when you earn, we take a wa hot water from your urn? Yeah, then you can't use an urn on Shabbos Abbey. And there it's already full of oh. Here it's also full of Forget about that. Okay. Whatever it's in An urn of food doesn't cool down. The water always is above the answer that. And, and the water tank? Hot water tank? Also. Also. Same thing. Yeah. Same thing. So you should have just the cold water coming into that water tank. It shouldn't have an issue. Right. Okay, see Dallas. Steve Gibber was not meant to take so long. Okay. Steve Dallas. Tafshush and his bashal called Tsarkoi. Now we're getting into the Hilchas Bishal. A Tafshush and his bashal called Tsarkoi. A Tafshush was fully cooked. Yes, boy, Mishum Bishal in Mistan. Now, Tafshush here obviously means to see soon the Machaber. Tafshush here means something that has liquid in it. That it was cooked called Tarkai. Yes, by Mishum Bishal in the standard, if it cooled down, and now you recook it, it's cooked. Yes, Bishal Acha Bishal, the Dover Lach. That's the Salacha. If you have a, a liquid, it cooled down, and you reheat it, it's, shaykh, it's called a new Bishal. A Dover Yavish, we'll see soon, doesn't happen to. Once a Dover Yavish is cooked, you can't recook it. A Dover Lach, if it was a liquid, it cooled down, it's Shaykh Bishal Acha Bishal. Now it's good I speak out right away. Okay, we'll get to that in a second. But in in the status, let's say two more problems over here. Yes, by Mishum Bishul, have a day. She called Dinim the Asudim Mishum Bishul. Anything that's also Mishum Bishul, a fellow lite al kira by a tanner kaidim hesed aser, but she calls of same simulation of gimel. We had before in National Gimbal that something that's also Mr. Bishop, you can't put it on the, f on the stove, even though later on a guy, a guy turns it on. It's still a problem. Echad Nosen as a Gdeira, Echad Nosen as a Ur, 
the ash, ash yeah, so I put the so I put the fire. It's yeah. also to put the gedera there. You're not allowed to put the gedera there if you know that right after someone's going to turn on the fire. Sif kanya beis mitzamei because of beseisa v'mash melei the chol shayatza letters boy mikri reiseach. Anything that's yatza letters boy is called reiseach. The chain mash me sivov v'zelushen ben yiruchim. If it didn't cool down, I feel shina ketzas me v'sichosay mutter. So what this means is, according to the Mechaber, in the Tzanet, something got cold. What does it mean it got cold? It goes under Yad Tzaletah's boy. But, let's say it cooled down a little bit. Let's say it was very, very hot. It was 120 degrees. It went down to 110 degrees, let's say. Where it's both Yad Tzaletah's boy. That's not called Bishol Acha Bishol. In order for it to lose the same Bishol, it has to go under Yad Tzaletah's boy. That's what the Morgan Brahma is saying over here. But he's also saying that the terms are Seach and Yatzalev's were synonymous. Is that mm-hmm. that? Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. It's Seach. Yeah. No, 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 what are you saying? Yeah, the coach Yatzalev. Okay, fine, I'm here. Yeah, and Echrami. Okay. Even though we know that Seach means that it's bubbling. Yeah. Right, right. Here he's saying that. I didn't have it. You're right. Marv, the coach Yatzalev's are Mikir Seach. And here, in Bishel, what does Seach mean as long as it's Yatzalev is born? Now, as long as it doesn't go on the Yatzalel this way, that means if you have hot water in the urn, which is very, very hot, and it cools down a little bit, so and you want to put it back into the urn afterwards, if there wouldn't be a problem of Chazar, whatever it is, it's not a problem of Bishel. As long as it doesn't go on the Yatzalel this way, there's no problem of Bishel. The Ayin Siv Tezvah Bhaga, which the Haga, the Ramah argues, and we see the Ramah holds that anything that doesn't cool down the Gamri, it doesn't lose its, its, its bishop status. That means it's called cooked until it cools down the gamri. What the gamri means is machloike is pashta. The gamri means if it doesn't get to room temperature, the food that was cooked, a double lock, that doesn't get down to room temperature, and you want to reheat it on Shabbos, whatever it is, it's mutter because it didn't lose its bishop status. According to the mechaber, no. Once it went under yatsa letters, boy. It's already also to make it hot again, make it over Yatzel at this point. It's a problem of Bishon. That's the Machos Machavah the Ramah. So it says in the word, in its family, it depends how you learn. According to the Machavah means less than Yatzel at this point. According to the Ramah it means under room temperature of Hashem. Now some person that hold that according to the Ramah, it, it, it's cooler, the Sana means cooler than you would eat it when you want to eat it hot. Meaning, if you eat it hot, hot means a certain temperature, soup, doesn't have to be yacht at this point to be hot, but cold soup you won't eat. Even room temperature you won't eat it. So it has to be, the te- if it goes under the temperature that's normal to eat it, that's cold and stunning, according to some person. What if it's a food that you could eat both hot and cold, like a chicken kind? Then it's fine, it has, it's room temperature. Chicken kind anyway, bishalach bishal, because it's a double yavish. So double lach, something you eat cold and hot. But you're not eating, but even though you eat the cold, you're not eating it. But it's not cold, it's hot, it's not cold heat. Okay, uh, maybe you're right. I mean, it could be that if, that if you, it's a, it means the temperature that you would eat it, and it's cold eating it hot. Even though you couldn't eat it cold. But the temperature that, that it's cold eating it hot. Now, right over we see the, the B.R. Loch over here. Because this is the Shit Samachaber, and this is the way basically we pass him. <laughs> so there's two important Bialachas here. No. You're too bad. They can fall asleep. <laughs> so if you look at the Bialachas, the Yesh Baby Shabishal, the first Bialacha, let's see if it's on page Kuflam Adalad. The first line. Yesh boy b'shum bishul says to be alocha. He ne din ze after sotsim hamachaber mekamokam yesh b'ze pluk to the rabbisa. The dasu rambam the rashba the haran the shuv aim boy b'shum bishul afilu netzamein. So there's a lot of rishonim that hold even after it's cooled down. The double lach. We're gonna go now from now on. The double lach. I think that was this liquid that cools down. Whatever cools down means. Yes, Bishul Lach Abishul, a Dava Yavesh not. The Lavishem that hold that even by Dava Lach, 
a liquid that cools down ain't bishul acha bishul. Once it was cooked, you can't recook it anymore. After the mechaber is sauced on the hachmer kedas Rashi, the mechaber was sauced on the hachmer like Rashi. But when you never rush a tour, by a mission of gimel, we are rush like chria ben ashitus. Fine. So we can so we have to remember. We'll see as we run through bishul. There are some times that we'll mitzarif this cooler. We'll add this cooler. If we have other coolers, we'll be mitzarif the cooler that ain't bishul lach and bishul b'davalach. Even b'davalach. We pass in here bishul lach and bishul b'davalach. But sometimes we have other machlekes in. We'll add this shita of even b'davalach ain't bishul lach and bishul. So it's good to know that shita. That's the Rambam, the Rajbo, and the Ram. Right? Is this where you can use the sheet uh, that we learned before? I think we said in the name of the, the Premier Garden. Let's say somebody serves you on Shabbos uh, meatballs hot with liquid. The shaggy, they didn't know. And they warmed it up? They warmed it up and things like that. You're now eating there. So okay. According to this, can you be the star on the sheet that they say? So you normally we say not. Lach is is usher. But since it's okay. the sheet of, of, of Kula, can it be. Could be. It could be. It could be. It could be. Possible. We'll see soon that in, in, in Bishel we, we do say there's some sheet is that hold that it's not Bishel, then with the Eved you can eat it. Right, but how far does that sheet, the nose, sheet in the Gomorrah, sheet in the Roshayim, sheet in the Achroinim, sheet in the... No, it, so, so that's the question. That's the question. So we'll we don't say that by the sheet of yeah. the Puskim, but by, by, by... We've seen this before. We've learned this idea that it has right. to be at least at the level of the... Last time we learned it was by... It was, we discussed it as by Tzli, by, by the... We talked about it, it had to be by the Gomorrah level. Now we're seeing here that it's, it's a shining level. level. Okay, so we'll see. We'll see in a no, second. It's no There's always going to be posthum that are going to suffer. Right, so we'll see in a second. We'll see, we'll see the Be'er Lacha. But, you know, let's keep this question on hold. Yeah. I'll get back to it soon. Give it 10, 15 minutes. Like this sheet on the Rambam you're just saying, yeah. is that that's is if there's a, a, a some, something yavish with a little bit of lach, like no, a, like no, a gravy, no, no. or let's say even lach water, even, even water, 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 water you can soup, water, you soup, soup, really soup I can understand, but water you can even water, eat, water that's cool, water that's cool down, ain't bishul lach bishul. Rambam would say, Rambam, the Rosh, the Rashi, the Ram, they all hold ain't bishul lach bishul. Once it cooked up water, even though it cooled down. It's we cook it should we cook it as long as solid? No, no, no. The no, Rambam holds even even not. Yeah, but the uh, uh, even not. The Rambam is not talking like this. We don't pass it that way, but oh, that's the sheet. Yeah. It's important to know the sheet because uh, sometimes we use this for a tear of the hakel. That's why I'm bringing it out. Yeah. Some of them use it for a tear of the hakel. Look in the next in the next uh, Allah also in the Stanim. I am permission to brew the Heinrich and the Yatsa Leather's boy. That it went down to a darga of Ein Yatzalevus boy. That's what it means, Nitzanin. According to the Mechaber, what does Nitzanin mean? Ein Hayatzalevus boy. Says the the Bialach of him, Hurak, the Klisheni. If you empty it to a Klisheni, Afim Hoyadai in Yatzalevus boy, Yeshloimar, the Dinoi, Kemoy Nitzanin. Yesh be Atom Shum Bishol. So this is a big Hiddish over here. Klisheni, we say in the Mavashol. Right? Even though it's Yatsa Levis, boy, ain't a Usually it's a Kula. Here it's going to be a Chumrah. A Klisheni, we consider it as if it's Nitzane, and now, at least according to the Mechaber, if you want to cook it up again, there's a problem of Bishol So if you put soup in a bowl, you can't put it back. Correct. According, according to the Sfardim. According to the Sfardim. According to the Ashkenazim, you could. Because it has to be, it has to be in the Stan Legamri. But according to the Sfardim, that it's totally in Yatsa Levis, boy, you put it to a cliche knee, it's what that means. I'll give you another example. You take a soup ladle, and you take some soup out of the pot. Yeah. Yeah. And then you decide you don't want to use it, you want to pour it back in, Could you can't do that according to this father. Because it could be a ladle that's called a cliche knee. It could be a ladle that's called a cliche knee. So you, you, your wife is serving soup, and they're like, I don't want soup. And she has it in, in the ladle. You can't just... If you're Ashkenazi, you could. Right. But if you're Sfardi, 
it could be a problem. Or even if you've got and cholent that's kind of semi-solid, semi-liquid, and you wow. take a slotted screw mm -hmm. right. and well, take some off, the solid's going to stay, but the liquid's going to drip back in. That means yeah, sure, that's a problem. <laughs> that's right. Anyway. Let's be careful. That's what happens. You mix stuff into the wheat. According to that, though, like how is by taking a spoon a cup, is that in the opinion of Iroya Hot or not? It doesn't it apply Irios by a cup? Is yeah. that Iroya also yeah, like Iros Iros by a cup? Yeah. Yeah, by yeah. a yeah. cup. That's the yes. Yeah. So you take chola from a pot for a clear mission. Yeah. And you have it on a spoon. So you have to make sure nothing drips off the spoon into the back into the pot because it's it's a cliche knee. No, and but it's a uh, even even the biomesh. No, let's say no, let's say no, super challenge. Okay, right. A super challenge. Okay. Right. So yeah, I don't know. I don't know what kind of challenge you wish. <laughs> okay, but super give a super ladle. They have to be careful. They tell the super ladle yep. that no drops go back into the pot. You have to be careful. If you but just. I mean, just those guys. Even though, even though, <laughs> <different. laughs> I'll tell you why. Because first of all, it's it's a it's a dosh ein It's not a That's right. It's not for sure going to happen. Right. Right. So anyway, it's, anyway, that's not a problem. The pour back in, you have to be careful. That's what's coming. We're taking it out. But the truth is, it happens a lot. Uh, yeah. I, I, you have to find that to it. It happens like you take it out from the ladle. And then you decide you don't want the whole layer, you, you pour a drop back in, right. then you pour it into this. Very common. But it's very it common. <laughs> so, like this, we're doing it this way. You can't put it back in. After you did it, maybe it's worth it. But uh, if you take it out. Don't take it out. You don't need to get it back in. Yeah, you have to find that. If, if you hold a ladle, there's a clear reshine, which we had in, 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 uh, in Boston Bukhalov. If a ladle is a clear reshine, it's not a problem. Right. Right, you can't you can't hold paint the cooler on both ends. Right. You can't hit the cooler both ends. If you want to call a ladle a cleavish, right. and therefore you want to pull back in, then your soup is a cliche and you right. the balls are cliche and you have an issue with the soup box. Yeah. But um you have to ask me that way. What are the in that? Okay. No, Fine. So, so that's the first part of the Chavrin. So Tavshin is possible called Tzorcha, yes, but Rishon Bishol, in the time of a cool down. Hagah, v'yesh oimim dafka mitzamek v'yochalai. Now what does this mean? This halacha, the yesh Bishol, acha Bishol by Davalach, says to the Ramah, some people say, it's only if that Tavshin is mitzamek v'yochalai. Let's say that Tavshin is mitzamek v'yochalai, it cooled down, you want to rewarm it, it's not a problem with Bishol anymore. Because once it's Vestamic Varaloi, there's no Bishel. If it's Vestamic Varaloi, it cooled down. There's always, there's one thing you have to realize. Always, if you cook something to a level of Spasha called Tzorchoi, and now it's Vestamic Varaloi, when it's hot, there's no Vestamic Bishel. No matter what. And if you have a pot on the fire, it's Vestamic Varaloi, you want to move it around on the fire, there's no problem with Bishel. We said, if it's not a Spasha called Tzorchoi, you can't cover it, you can't move it, because then you do a bishel. But once it's Vestamic Viofoloi, there's no Issa bishel. That's only while it's hot. Here we're talking about the cases that are cooled down. It's Vestamic. You want to rewarm it. So the rewarming it, making it hot again, says the, says the, the Ramah, some people say that if it's Vestamic Viofoloi, it's a problem. But Vestamic Viofoloi ain't bishel acha bishel, once it's Vestamic Viofoloi. Says the says the Mogen of Rom, Yesh Eim of Dafka, but Bach Pasuk the Sfara Rishayna, the Bach Pasuk is like the Sfara Rishayna, the Mechtamik Viraloi. The Yesh Eim means that in the Mechaber he says him, says there's always Bishul Acher Bishul. The Mechaber is Mashma even Mechtamik Viraloi. The Rambam says the Yesh Eim, and says the Bach that we Pasuk like the Mechaber that it's also. And the the, the Mishnah Bruce says, "Okay, Master, we are grow, and the Master we pass in that even with stomach viralva is us." Fine. Right. Says the Mechaber Vayter, "We learn a special called Tzorchay, a fill of a special called Machab Ben Zerusoi, Shaykh by Bishul, a fill of Oyder Reseyach." So now, if if something wasn't a special called Tzorchay, but it was cooked in Machab Ben Zerusoi, then a Shaykh by Bishul, even while it is hot. What does that mean? You cook something 
you, you reached the dog of Machab and the soy, and now you're cooking it weiter, you, you, you took off the fire or back on the fire. Yeah, you have now because you made it from Machab and the soy till the fossil called Tarkar. Yeah. Now, this has nothing to do with Dovalach. It's even Dovayavesh. Or Dovayavesh, I was cooking Machab and the soy, is also to cook it now from Machab and the soy till the fossil called Tarkar. The only chilk that Dovalach and Dovayavesh is when it's the stunning, when it cools down. But while it's hot, a davalach and davayavish are the same thing. So you have something that's cooking on the fire, <coughs> it's a special kamachah ben soy, you take it off the fire, you want to put it back on the fire, it's awesome. That's regular bishul, whether it's lach, whether it's yavish. A special kamachah ben soy, shaykh by bishul, a fill of oidai resayach, even while it's still hot. So here also is a bit of a in the Rishonim. If you look in the the Mishnah over here, Chavov, the two two Chavov and Chavzayin. Kamacha ben Dersoy, what in Yosef? Even more than that, Achi Yigma b'Shul Hashayach b'Bishul min Atayra. Even if it's more than Machav and the Soy, as long as it didn't reach the special called Sarkai, it's Shaykh Bishop and Atayra. A fill of Oydir Seach, or Pashit, to a fill of the Enihudi, also Ligmar HaBishol. Even through a go, you now let it finish the Bishol. Why? Because Zenissa there writes, the Nira says to the, 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 the Mishavura, to be the Eved, ain't less, or, but the Eved, you're not going to ask for this. That means if someone went ahead and he had a tapshot of the special called Machav and the Soy, and he cooked it for Machav and the Soy, but the Evet ain't less a tafshul. Why? The Yesh Lismet ala Paiskim shall save him. The Kibin the Shesh Bashal Kamacha ben the Soi shuv ain't bizem Misham Bishal. So here's another Machlaikis. Here's a Machlaikis that if something's cooked Kamacha ben the Soi and you want to cook it now for Macha ben the Soi till the Bashal Katarka. Is it still Shaykh Bishal or not? We just said in the Machaber that Shaykh Bishal no bar plucked. If you look in the Bia Alocha, also, a very important be alacha. A full boy de reseach, Kainu das Rambam Vatur. Behine, the Pella Hoya Beena says the be alacha. Matrilla, the beginning, Absaka Machabin, Shasosam Kedas Rambam. The Leharbe Rishonim Cholkamaza. A lot of Rishonim argue on this Isai, they hold that what is the special Kamacha Ben de Resoi? It's already called the Vushal. There's no more Isra Bishal. Who is that? Harambam Mechadusha Rabbein Yenim Varadva 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 Iri. Kulam Paiskin, the Mekimich and the Spashal Kamecha Ben Rasoi. Shuv, Ein Boy, Misham But Bishal, from Mutter, the Hakta Bishabas, the Tavern, Gorf, Menegachal, Rafshul Kham. For Yachal Ligman Abishal Aydeza. So in the beginning, it said to be a Lacha had Shreem. There's a whole list of Rishayim that hold that after Macha Ben Rasoi, it's Mutter. There's no Bishal. So why is Machab a Paskin, like the Rambam Muzayachid, who says that it's still Shaykh Bishal after Machab and the Sun? Okay, but don't we, don't we always say that when it's mid stomach, the Yafelo, it still can't, it still can't do, it still can't do uh, Bishal. So I can't, even if, could. You, even if you're not calling it Bishal. It's not real, it's Mutter. You let it. Yeah, but Tamil of Yafelo is now it's the Bishal, you let it take a part of the Tamil of Yafelo and put it on the fire. So there's no problem with God forgot him. Right. Oh. You have a chance to look through the whole list that goes through it over here. But if you go all the way to the end of that Bira Lacha, the last three lines. It was a little bit before that. You see it? Yeah. Hayeti be devreinu. The Rambam, the Rashi, the Atshuma, the Asmag, the Asmak, the Gos Mordechai, the Gos Maimis, the Zerua, the Rivo, the Tur. Kulam seivim to yes bezev shum bishul. The Alkain in lozos lemaisu from sakav shachan aruch will prat to who they write. Even though he brought a whole list of rishonim that hold, there's no problem of bishul after ma'achem ben derasoi, but he brings a whole list that hold like the mechaber. That there is a problem of Bishul after Machabendu Asoi. 
Mukamokam he says, Nira the Bidi Eved and Hikzir I saw like there but Mokam Acham Tainal Tana Goruf Ain less a tafsha with the Eved. You don't ask the tafsha with the Eved. The Khoshri has suffered Plukta, he have a bishul, ain less of his Ebedi Eved. Anything that's a suffered Plukta, if it's bishul or rat, we don't ask the Bidi Eved. So it comes out, if something is cooked, Kamacha Bender Usoi, and someone made a mistake, and he moved it around in the fire on Shabbos, then it's not a problem. Because with the Ebed, you can rely on those sheets. So now getting back to the case of bishul Acha, bishul by Dabalach, it should be the same thing. Something was a sign of the gamri. Like, okay, so I had meatballs, uh, meatballs in a sauce. And he reheated it on Shabbos. He put it on, uh, let's say it's a garden of cotton, whatever the hatter is. And it got hot again. So could you eat it? The answer is, but the Ebed, you could eat it. Because anything that's a suffix, if it's called Bishel, it, it's mutter, but the Ebed. So Bishel, Ach, Bishel, by Dovel, Ach. There's a Rishonim that hold the A Bishel, Ach, Bishel, by Dovel, Ach. And therefore, if it's the Ebed, it's mutter. But at the level of the Rishonim. Level the Rishonim, yeah. He said before it's level of Lamar, but okay. Yeah, he says here, level the Rishonim, by Bishel. That's, that's, that's the big Kiddush here. By Bishel. Now he's going already to, to the Rishonim. Rishonim. Yeah. And that's why Bishop, that's why everything is that way. There's one more thing, if you look at the, it's interesting to see, that in, that, in that same Be'er Alocha, in that same Be'er Alocha, me, it's on 268, on, and towards the top of the page. It says that a lot of people hold that the Ach Enigma of Bishul is not talking about Bishop Bishul, but it's not about Bishop They write, so in Zohar, See those words? Yeah. You see from over here that a covering, a pot that's not fully cooked is a problem of Bishop. We spoke about it once. Yeah. If you take off the chalom pot, cover from the chalom pot, you recover it, mm. right. and it's not a special called Torkoy, it's a problem. So if it's Kamach it's, it's, Abed for a mistake, you put it back on, you might have a deal of it. But I don't know, if someone uncovers a Cholom pot, he's holding the cover in his hand, then he hops, that it's only Kamach Abed Nusoy, he wants to put it back down, that's not called the deal of it, you can't put it back down now. But if he knows it's off and he puts it back down, he's amazing, I don't know if we're going to make it with the Abed, that it's mutter. I don't think you make with the Ebed that's mutter. But you see, putting a cover on a pot that's on the special mm-hmm. is awesome. It's called Mar Bishulon. So it's, it, we have to wait until the special called Sarachon. Come on, come on, if someone made a mistake, it could be made. Okay, I think we're going to stop here.